Hello, thank you for joining with me. We are doing a meditation on lesson 303 in A Course in Miracles to the sound of bulldogs snoring. When we move into the meditation, there will be silence. It will be complete silence. The Holy Christ is born in me today. Go ahead and sit comfortable. Have your back supported, head and neck free. Take a big, deep breath in through the nose. Hold it and then exhale slowly through your mouth. Repeat this three times at least. The Holy Christ is born in me today. Watch with me, angels. Watch with me today. Let all God's holy thoughts surround me and be still with me while heaven's Son is born. Let earthly sounds be quiet and the sights to which I am accustomed disappear. Let Christ be welcomed where he is at home, and let him hear the sounds he understands and see but sights that show his Father's love. Let him no longer be a stranger here, for he is born again in me today. Your Son is welcome, Father. He has come to save me from the evil self I made. He is the self that you have given me. He is but what I really am in truth. He is the son you love above all things. He is myself as you created me. It is not Christ that can be crucified. Safe in your arms, let me receive your son. The Holy Christ is born in me today. We will now move into a silent meditation. Please use the lesson of the day as your mantra or the mantra of your choice to help redirect your thoughts as you see them. Other thoughts of the past and future invade upon your mind. The Holy Christ is born in me today.
The Holy Christ is born in me today. I apologize for missing recording a lesson yesterday. I am sick again. I am, must be wallowing in guilt, <laughs> the guilt of separation. And I am, um, I just needed to sleep, so I apologize. The Holy Christ, my body needed to sleep. How about that? I need to awaken. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. The Holy Christ is born in me today. This is a most beautiful lesson. Written at Christmas time, its theme is the familiar one of being born again. It is borrowed from John's Gospel, the well known account of the Jewish leader. Nicodemus stealing away to be with Jesus. Born again in A Course in Miracles is not meant in the fundamentalist sense of religious conversion, but to de denote making another choice. Thus, in choosing to see ourselves through the eyes of Jesus, we are born again by virtue of having awakened to the truth that God is our source, not the ego. Shifting from the ego to Jesus as our teacher is thus the underlying theme of this lesson, movingly expressed in the symbolism of Christmas. This is a reading from the Gifts of God, page 97. Christmas is holy only if you come in silence to the manger to behold your holiness made visible to you. And this is again is from the Gifts of God, page 97. Let the door to heaven wa open wide and hear the angels sing of peace on earth, for Christmas is the time of your rebirth. We are saved from the evil self by the change in mind that undoes the ego belief that sin and guilt are real and love and peace illusory. We have seen ourselves and others as we could never be, a faulty image of God's Son. Each time we perceive crucified victims anywhere in the Sonship, Jesus helps us realize we were simply mistaken. Our evil dreams of murder, suffering, and pain have had no effect upon our reality as God's beloved Son. Son, excuse me who never left the safety of his Father's arms. Amen. And I'm just going to review quickly from Lesson 302, since I didn't do this yesterday. Um, and currently, this is the lessons, the meditation for Lessons 2021, because I've done it, I think, at least three times in the past years. So, Lesson 302, Where dark Darkness Was, I Look Upon the Light, and this is commentary by Ken Wapnick. We continue with the idea that having recognized we have been wrong, we now begin to see everything through the eyes of forgiveness. This is a reading from the text, chapter 20, section 3. The innocent see safety, and the pure in heart see God within his Son, and look unto the Son to lead them to the Father. In your brother is the light of God's eternal promise of your immortality. See him as sinless, and there can be no fear in you. And then this is from the text, chapter 25, section 4. Take rest and comfort in another world where peace abides. This world you bring with you all that the weary eyes and tired hearts that look on sin and beat its sad refrain. In you there is a vision that extends to all of them and covers them in gentleness and light. And in this widening world of light, the darkness that they thought was there is pushed away until it is but distant shadows, far away, not long to be remembered, as the sun shines them into nothingness. I love that. And the prayer that we read was directed to ourselves because we realize that we have seen wrongly and our grievances will never make us happy. It is a lovely rendering. Sorry, sorry, that's work. It is a lovely rendering of the journey. 
its process and its end. The journey's goal is God's love, which waits for us beyond the real world. Jesus' love symbolizes this abstract love in the dream, and as long as we believe we are bodies, our minds translate the abstract into the specific. Thus, Jesus tells us that love is the end we seek and also the means that will take us there. He is not asking us to accept truth in its fullness, for it is still too threatening, but he does ask us to accept truth's specific reflection, which undoes the shadow of illusion we have made into ourselves. However, the love of God remains our true identity, our true reality, and the ultimate goal, and at the same time is our companion and comfort as we make our way to him. He, the end we seek, but also the means by which we go to him. In this sense, we have salvation's cake and enjoy it too. We are thus not asked to give up our individual identity, but only to have it be reinterpreted by the loving presence that walks with us each step along the way. Where darkness was, I look upon the light. That's Lesson 302. I just wanted to read Ken's commentary on that. And then Lesson 303, The Holy Christ is born in me today. I love you. Thank you so much for joining with me, and I will see you tomorrow for Lesson 304. Have a beautiful day, and thank you for your patience and forgiveness. I love you.